The beautiful island of Jamaica looked like a war zone today as thousands of heavily armed police and troops fought gun battles with masked gangsters, leaving at least 30 dead. The State Department is warning Americans not to travel there. Here's Pierre Thomas. On the streets of Kingston, Jamaica today, a fierce battle continues. But despite a massive dragnet involving scores of military and police, suspected drug lord Christopher Dudas Koch is still on the run. Authorities thought they had him. More than 1,000 police surrounded a housing complex where Koch was believed to have been hiding. He slipped through their fingers. And his supporters, bands of men with assault rifles, are vowing to fight to the finish. At least 30 people are dead, 26 civilians and four police. These policemen put their lives on the line to protect our lives and our property and are gunned down like clay pigeons. To many in Jamaica, Coke is a folk hero, a Robin Hood-like figure who gives to the poor. This picture says it all. The sign reads, Jesus died for us, we will die for Dudas. Coke's name may be well earned. U.S. authorities indicted him last year for allegedly running an international Coke and marijuana ring with reach here to New York City. The ongoing violence is in a poor neighborhood of Kingston controlled by Coke, just outside the nation's airport and only two hours from Jamaica's famous resorts. Pierre Thomas, ABC News, New York.